Hi, I'm Kang Yin Wang from Stanford University. Today I'm going to talk about regret minimization with noisy observations. This is joint work with Mohammed Madian and Jiming Mao from Google Research. We study the following simple setting. There are n values that are unknown to us. Each of these values is a real number. We need to pick one value from them, and we want our pick to be as large as possible. Of course, there is not much we can do without any other information. So in our model, we can observe each value once, but our observations are noisy. We observe SI, which can be written as the true value VI plus a noise AI. Each noise AI is drawn from a known distribution, capital AI. These noise distributions are independent, but can be different. So we study the non-IID setting. These noisy observations can model quite general scenarios. One is physical measurements using imperfect tools, where we usually have access to the noise distributions. Another scenario is where we use estimations of machine learning algorithms, where we often have a good sense of the estimation error. As another example, in differential privacy, the observed value is exactly in this form, the true value plus a stochastic noise. These noise distributions can be different if the observations are from different channels with different privacy guarantees. We note that our problem is entirely offline, and we ask a natural but novel question, how to design an algorithm to select one value to approximately minimize the worst-case regret. Now we define the worst-case regret, fix n and the noise distributions. The worst case regret measures the performance of an algorithm in the following pessimistic way. It is the largest expected difference between the true largest value and the algorithm's selection. This is taken over all possible true values. In other words, an algorithm with regret R loses at most R in expectation over random noises compared with the clairvoyant optimal selection. We want to find the minimum possible regret which we call the benchmark. Here is a simple example to get familiar with the setting. There are two values. The observation for the first value has no noise, and the observation for the second value has an additive noise, either 1 or minus 1, with equal probability. What is a good algorithm here? One solution is the natural greedy algorithm, which simply picks the value with the higher observation. It turns out that the regret of this greedy algorithm is 0.5. To see why this is the case, consider the following instance, where v1 is always 0, and v2 is very close to 1, say it's 0.999. Then, because the first value has no noise, we know the observation s1 is always equal to 0. And because the noise for the second value is either 1 or minus 1, we know the observation for the second value is either 1.999 or minus 0 0.001. And therefore, the greedy algorithm will select S1 with probability half, because S1 is larger than S2 with probability half. And therefore, the regret of the greedy algorithm is at least half times the difference between V2 and V1, which is about half. We naturally ask, is this optimal? Well, the answer is no. We should actually randomize when the observations are close. And it turns out the optimal regret here is much lower at 0.25. To see why this is the case, consider the following algorithm, where we select v2 with probability s2 minus s1 plus 1 over 2 kept at 0 to 1. Suppose v2 minus v1 equals d, then we know s2 minus s1 is either d plus 1 or d minus 1 with equal probability. We consider the case where d is between 0 to 2, and other cases are either easy or symmetric to this case. In this case, we will select v2 with probability either 1 
if s2 minus s1 equals d plus 1, or d over 2 if s2 minus s1 equals d minus 1. And therefore, overall, we select v2 with probability 1 plus d over 2 over 2. And we will select v1 with probability 1 minus this amount. Therefore, the regret should be equal to this probability times v2 minus v1, which is d. Then we can show this is at most one quarter. Now that we know that greedy is not always optimal, we naturally ask, is it approximately optimal? In particular, is it a constant approximation? After all, intuitively, greedy might be a convincing strategy, since it chooses the value which in expectation is the highest. However, it turns out that it is not a constant approximation, even when there are only two values. Here is the idea for a counterexample. The first observation has no noise. The second observation either has a noise of minus 1 or a positive noise larger than 1. Greedy makes the wrong choice when the higher value has a lower observation. This can be either v1 is less than v2 but s1 is higher than s2, or v1 is higher than v2 but s1 is less than s2. However, only the first case can involve a large regret. For example, when v2 is higher than v1 by 0 0.999, the observed value s1 is larger than s2 with high probability. And therefore, greedy is wrong with high probability. The other case where greedy mistakenly picks v2 cannot produce a large regret. It turns out greedy is not a constant approximation here in terms of regret. We are not going into the calculation details, but for those of you familiar with pricing, the math here is almost the same as the super constant gap between the optimal revenue and welfare, where the value distribution is equal revenue. This motivates us to consider a modified algorithm, which is to pick the first value when the first observation is larger than the second by a margin. In general, we can compute an offset data i using this idea. The algorithm is to pick the highest observation after adding its offset. For n equals 2, the two-value case, where the first value has no noise, we can easily compute the best additive offset data 2. And we define every theta i in this way, which is the optimal offset against a zero-noised value when n equals 2. Note that theta i only depends on the noise distribution a i. Fortunately, this fix works, and the regret of this offset algorithm is at most a constant times the optimal regret, and this holds for any n. Our proofs have many components, but ultimately we express the regret of the offset algorithm and the optimal algorithm using the same simple terms. We think the most interesting and novel part of our proofs is a way to construct hard instances for the optimal algorithm. For any fixed noise distribution, different random values can look partially the same after a convolution with this noise distribution. This can confuse the optimal algorithm and therefore give a lower bound. Please check out our paper for more details. We think there are many natural and promising future directions of our model. First, can we generalize our results to other selection problems, such as selecting a shortest path, a minimum spanning tree, or a maximum weighted bipartite matching. We think these are not only mathematically intriguing, but also practically useful, as our model for measurement errors can potentially be applied to many relevant situations. For example, the shortest path extension of our setting can model someone's decision to select the fastest way to go home, fastest in the sense that she wants to minimize her regret of travel time. As another more technical direction, 
can we efficiently compute the optimal algorithm or give simple characterizations of it? And can we find other simple algorithms with better approximation ratios? Our current approximation ratio is a five-digit number. Note that we know constant gaps between the optimal randomized algorithm and any deterministic algorithm, and between the optimal deterministic algorithm and any deterministic monotone algorithm. This suggests that an algorithm in some simple forms must suffer a loss in constants. And finally, let's repeat our main message. In the selection problem, where values are observed with additive stochastic noises, a simple offset algorithm can approximately minimize the worst-case regret. Thank you.